Evaluating Power Prices in Brazil. I am Rafael Hertzberg, an energy consultant based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. The agenda of this presentation will cover short-term power costs, long-term technical costs, methodology and recommendation. Short-term power costs since 2005 are shown in this graph. This is equivalent to the marginal cost of operations as published by the independent system operator here in Brazil. And this cost is basically the one associated with dispatching one additional megawatt hour using the existing infrastructure uh, infrastructure and by that I mean generation, transmission and distribution of electric power. Basically what I see is three time frames. The first one up to 2011, prices were very low and well behaved. Then they started to climb dramatically, reaching an average of 400 reais per megawatt hour and a huge volatility. And then let's say that for the last past three or four years, we've had fairly well behaved prices, but a lot of volatility as well, and an average around 200 reais per megawatt hour. It must be said that the current exchange rate is one US dollar per 3.3 reais. What is a good, solid, long-term technical cost reference? I like to use what I call the marginal cost of expansion, which is the cost required to expand one megawatt of capacity using to be built power plants. So let's say that we are considering a hydropower plant and the investment is around 5,000 reais per kilowatt. Let's consider that we are talking about a 20 year time frame for amortization costs. And considering the country risk, we are talking about 1.5% per month of interest rates. And the last aspect, which is fairly important, is the load factor. In this case, it's the average delivered firm energy compared to the installed capacity of the power plant in consideration. And most importantly, considering also the hydrology of our rivers and considering the wet and dry periods. So we are considering a 60% load factor. Combine these numbers, we reach the value of 175 reais per megawatt hour. How to evaluate the short-term costs against the long-term ones? Well, we may have a balanced situation if those two costs are about the same number. If, however, we are seeing short-term and long-term with different numbers, there might be a stress. Depending on what is the specific situation, it might be a good situation for buyers of energy or sellers of energy. And here comes my recommendation. Follow all the times power prices, short and long-term ones then you, are, you will be able to identify opportunities according to those short and long term prices. And most importantly, capture the opportunity as soon as it is there available. If you would like to internalize this knowledge for your company or institution, make sure to contact me. And here goes my email, Twitter, mobile and WhatsApp. See you soon.